are back again in the Open Tech Studio. Uh, I'm now joined by Rui Fernandez from Datafinity. Firstly, thanks for taking the time to chat to us. Thank Very you. busy day for everyone, I'm sure yourself included, so we do appreciate you always taking the time to chat. Um, Thank you. For those that aren't aware of Datafinity and your role there, kind of, can you just unpack for the people that are listening? Of course, yeah. So I'm the technical director of Datafinity. Uh, we've been in business since uh, the year 2000, obviously interesting year, so 23 years of business. Mm -hmm. uh, we specialize in uh, document capture, so it's all about automation uh, when it comes to document capture and the all-encompassing electronic content management. So they can do anything from document management to records management, etc. And then further to that is robotics process automation. So all around human-centric processes, uh, human-centric tasks, and how we automate that at the end of the day. And then all of that then gets put into back-end systems, uh, triggering ERP systems or triggering uh, BPM systems, workflow systems, etc. So yeah, in a nutshell, data affinity, that's what we do. In terms of open text, we, we specialize in specific products for open text, not all their products. Uh, we specialize in a product called Intelligent Capture, mm -hmm. uh, which is their flagship capture tool. Uh, also, there's an AR component called Magellan. Uh, we also incorporate that into all our projects in terms of uh, automation and, and bringing in AR, because that's the big topic. Uh, AR is a key thing for us, and machine learning uh, is integrated into all the solutions that we implement. So in a nutshell, that's what we do. Great stuff. You mentioned AI. Uh, I think that's a great starting off point. Right. Um, is that something that your customers are now asking for, or is it something that you guys are driving, driving internally? Yeah, uh, both, right? Sure. Um, so in terms of AI, if we look at... It was actually a conference I attended for OpenText back in 2018 mm -hmm. when we first got introduced to the Magellan engine. AI has been around for a long time. Uh, but from a product perspective, Magellan became the inroad for us. Uh, we started seeing opportunities there and, and then incorporated them into all our customers' uh, solutions. Uh, and with that, customers started asking the questions, right? Because robotics has also been around for a while and they started asking, how do we make use of AI? And how do we automate our processes by using this technology? So a bit of both. Uh, it was us looking at the technology, us assisting our customers with implementing it and internal. So we use it for a lot of our internal processes as well. And with that, we obviously learn and we integrate and implement into our customers. So a bit of both going on at the, Great at stuff. the end of the day. Uh, I'm assuming then that customers are asking more, more, more. Where can I get more AI involved in my environment? Where can yes. I actually kind of implement it? Uh, uh, with, with greater efficiency. Correct, absolutely. They're all looking for solutions. Also, let's look at the disruptive technologies that are out there. Uh, if you look at uh, all that's happening in the AI space, some are wary of it as well because, you know, uh, job losses, etc., etc. Yes, yes. There's a lot of those questions that do pop up. And I think what's important is you've got to look at the human aspect. Um, it, it's always about automation, yes, but you also got to look at ways of still making use, better use of resources. So take away that heavy manual lifting because AI, that's where they want AI to play, is where there's the heavy manual lifting, where there's a lot of uh, manual work happening is use AI to automate a lot of that and also improve their decision cycles, right? Um, so we're finding a nice sweet spot there in terms of uh, automating that for our customers. Okay, so, so does Datafinity kind of play any role as far as reskilling or upskilling uh, I guess employees or workforce when it comes to automation, if it's taking care of something else, are you guys assisting as far as uh, trying to get the workforce still operating? Yeah, absolutely. Um, when it comes to training, when it comes to you know understanding what the technology can do, etc., um, uh, we help implement that. Uh, but in terms of you know trying to move those resources, you know particularly at the customer space into more uh, productive work, we we helping do that, right? Mm -hmm. In terms of you know they might have a center of excellence as an example, where they can go into that space and learn a bit more about robotics or learn a bit more about AI. Uh, it's a broad topic, you know. There's a lot that you can use. Um, a lot of talking about ChatGPT, etc., what it can do, etc. Uh, in terms of open text, there's, there's a close affiliation to that. Because if we look at what uh, ChatGPT is doing, or we look at what Magellan is doing, uh, this is a large language model, and over here we've got this, this more governed application, right? Because you've got this public domain, and sure. then you have this more governed domain. So you can make use of any of that information and integrate into it. So with that, a lot of disruption, um, but also upskilling people to understand that. Uh, understand what are the benefits of it, don't be scared of it, uh, it's, it's there to assist, etc. So out of interest, do you guys get any kind of pushback as far as kind of being told that, you yeah, listen, we have an automation tool in place now, you need to start uh, thinking about differently about how you kind of go about your work? Absolutely, it's always challenging us, right? Uh, you gotta, and you've got to accept the challenge at the end of the day because the technology is moving fast. Mm -hmm. 
Um, again, you've got to look at the right way to implement it because there is a wrong way to do it. Uh, a lot of guys have like kind of the big bang theory, let's just go for it. Uh, but a lot of organizations look at it strategically, right? Um, as an example, a CEO of a bank that we've worked with for many years, they, he put out a statement saying that AI was pretty much going to take over the whole branch aspect of things. And it has in a major way. Mm -hmm. uh, you've seen branches close down, et cetera, et cetera. But um, we're hoping that those people are moving into more effective roles thereafter. But in terms of um, the, the, the take on of it, uh, it has been good, but there has been pushback. And you need to manage that correctly at the end of the day. Great, so great insight there. Um, as far as your kind of involvement here at the summit, uh, what is Data Finney kind of handling? What are you guys aiming, I mean, hoping to achieve here? Rather? 100%, yeah. So in terms of the, the technologies we make use in the open tech space, the solution we refer to is what we call AI augmented capture, right? Talking back to the AI uh, mm -hmm. topic. AI augmented capture is really um, taking your traditional capture, because capture has been around for decades. Um, but traditional capture is a sense of you would take documents, you would use OCR technology, so optical character recognition technology, which is really simply explained is that you're looking at a document, you're looking at text, you try and extract that text. But it's a, it's a traditional way of doing things. What we've now done, uh, Data Affinity together with Open Text, we've taken all the AI components that they offer and we've now integrated it or augmented that capture process. Mm -hmm. Now, how does that work? Uh, just to explain it quite quickly, is that if you've got use cases where there's still documents coming in, you're trying to automate those documents, there's a lot of data that's coming in with it, right? Let's use an email as an example. With an email, you'll have your subject information, your body text, where a customer is trying to communicate with you. And in many cases, a lot of organizations have still got humans looking at that, right? They're still trying to interpret what this email is about. Yes, there's a document that we requested from you as, as, as the organization, but what do we do with that document? But the data in the email is not being addressed. Or all the information the customer is giving us is not being addressed. We're now bringing AI in to help us do that. So with natural language processing, the engine now looks at that email and says, well, who is this person? So we're looking at an entity. Uh, we're trying to categorize it, saying it's actually an application, application for a new home loan, or it could be a claim for an insurance company, whatever it is. The NLP engine's automatically identifying that information, so it's more insight, right? So the customer now knows a lot more from the minute that email drops in the mailbox. So um, that's where our capture captures coming in, and also unstructured content, right? So you've got a lot of unstructured content coming into the business where mm -hmm. documents we don't know. Um, it could be a contract, et cetera, et cetera. The AI engine together with Capture is now addressing that from an automation level. To give you an example, um, with one of the banks also in South Africa, the processing of bank statements as a use case. There, there's a big reliance on that still, uh, particularly when you're applying for a home loan, et cetera. Uh, what, we, what we've done for them in the past, we had an automation level of about 30 to 40% on bank statement reading, right? So that was just reading all the transactional information. But that was just a read, right? We didn't actually use the data for any insights. Uh, since then, uh, with the introduction of AR, we've gone into the 80 percentile or late 80 percentile. And with that, we are able to gather a lot more insights on the customer and automate that process for them. Great stuff. I think we just experienced a bit of load shedding. Yeah, we just saw the flicker. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I think it segues quite nicely into my next question, which is just around the South African context. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Papier. You guys deal with a lot of data, a lot of documentation. Is that something that you guys are actively looking at because it doesn't seem like it has the teeth necessarily that was being uh, mentioned uh, mm. a couple of years ago? So is that something that you guys are thinking about? Absolutely. Yeah, it's very important, right? Mm -hmm. um, dealing with the, the big banks, insurance companies in South Africa, we take uh, Papier and Poppy very seriously. Sure. Uh, in terms of the data we engage with, uh, in terms of what we're building, uh, obviously when we work with our customers, we work within their environment. Uh, so that's secured and we're all about security, right? Uh, so we got to be very uh, very cognizant of uh, cyber security, any attacks, etc. So what's key is that, yes, we do adhere to Poppy. Uh, we make sure that we enforce it with, with all our customers and with our resources that are working with customers. Great stuff. Uh, we, we do appreciate you taking the time to chat with us. Thank you very much. Uh, data Affinity, I'm sure we'll be having many conversations today around uh, data management, document management, and, uh, yeah, hopefully, and document capture. Absolutely. Yes, hopefully yeah. those uh, all go well. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. for your time, Robin. Sure. Awesome.